All right, well, this is uh, the Beesmax Hive up at EV Cargo at Ashby. And if you look down, can you see in there? I think you can see, yeah, brilliant. Okay, so when we um, installed the hive a few weeks ago, we gave them a supplement of um, sugar syrup laced with uh, garlic for disease uh, prevention and maintenance. And uh, as you can see down in there, they've been making some really nice new comb actually across the frames. They're very well spread across and there's lots of fresh young bees that have been bred. They're waiting up at the edge here for more feed actually. Waiting in neat little rows, I don't know if you can quite see that. Um, just at the lip of the polystyrene interior box that um, we've provided. If you look down there, they're very quiet, they're very docile. Um, they haven't been disturbed at all since I last installed them and as such aren't apprehensive about human inter interference. Try and keep interference for as little as possible really and this um, cedar wood shell is a nice wooden structure. Cedar wood um, is very damp repen uh, repellent and um, very good so it will last for many years. So there's an interior of white polystyrene has been recycled from the greengrocers um, and uh, we're going to be putting another bucket of uh, winter feed on. It's just because they, they don't know where they are really in terms of um, nectar flows and pollinating crops and it's a bit uh, bleak up here at the moment. It's autumn now and uh, that there isn't a lot of forage in the area but there's plenty to go and find out and discover for next year. That's what they've been doing for the last few weeks. Um, so it looks all very successful so far. That's Mark Gale, Beesmax, up at EV Cargo in uh, Ashby.